Right, let's be honest, pasta is definitely a big midweek staple in the Ramsey household. And for me, there's nothing better than a delicious hearty one. So, this one is all about turkey, leeks, tagliatelle, finished with the most amazing sage breadcrumbs. Trust me, it's going to be a big hit in your household. Right, Oscar, come in, let's go through the ingredients. Pan down, pan down. Fresh tagliatelle, that takes about 90 seconds to cook. Ground turkey is a great alternative from beef. A lot leaner, as you can see, there's hardly any fat in there. Beautiful baby leeks, shallots, lemon, garlic, touch of chili, breadcrumbs, and of course, fresh sage. Right, Capitan, let's have 10 minutes on the clock. Right, first things first, get that pasta water boiling. And sometimes when it's not boiling, get some salt in there and that will increase the actual speed of that water boiling. Really important, a rolling boil. Pans on, nice and hot. Now, the secret here is to get some really good colour on that turkey, OK? It's a very sort of lean, no fat. So we've got to be careful because we need some butter and olive oil in there to give it that nice, rich flavour. First off, shallots sliced in half. And I'm going to use a couple of shallots because leeks also come from the onion family. Take off the ends, OK? And then from there, literally, just slice down. Now, flap on the surface and slice. Don't go too thin, because we want this temperature quite high. And if the pan's super hot, the actual shallots will burn. Nice. Now, from there, top and tail your leeks. That basically means just take the top and the tails off, OK? And again, Nice, long strands. Too fine, and they'll burn. OK, I want those leeks literally spreading through the pasta. Top and tail, make sure they're very, very clean. And again, on an angle, and just slice through. As this cooks, it will sort of open up across, and all those leeks will start sort of almost shredding. Get that pan nice and hot. OK, roll round, and in with the shallots and our leeks. Now, roll that over. Again, I like to use all the pan. So, spread that out, and that helps to caramelise. Let's get some colour on those leeks. A little touch of salt, a little touch of pepper, and just a touch at this early stage of chilli. That'll give it a little bit of a lift. Now, from there, start off with the garlic. Again, quite nice chunks of garlic. If they caramelise, it's fine, OK? If you slice them too thin, again, they're going to burn. So keep them quite chunky. And you'll see the way that they caramelise in the pan on top of the leeks. They sort of... they taste better. Sometimes when you slice the garlic super thin, it gets very bitter. Now, touch more salt. Be generous with the olive oil, OK? And now I'm going to start adding my butter, OK? Why? The butter's going to give it a bit of richness, OK? Little flecks of butter all the way down. I want colour, I want caramelisation, and more importantly, I want the water out of those leeks. Gas up high. Get your pan ready for your breadcrumbs. Just put it on a nice ring and just keep it nice and hot, OK? But look at that down there. Pan down, Oscar, please. Time? Three minutes gone. Three minutes gone. Now, whack up the gas. Once we've got that colour, give that a little toss. So beautiful. Flatten it again, and now we're going to add the turkey, OK? And all we do is just break this up and hit it around the side of the pan, and you'll see that we're going to get some really nice colour on that turkey. And that's why I added the butter and the olive oil, because there's no fat in this turkey, OK? So it's super lean. So it is semi-healthy, but we finish it with a touch of cream to bring it together to give some richness. So open up the turkey and almost sort of run it through your fingers and just sort of sprinkle it. It's ground turkey. And sometimes I put it in the freezer for five minutes before I use it because it helps get it really nice and crumbly, OK? And look, you can see now I've got the leeks caramelising underneath. I've got the garlic and the shallots working, a touch of chilli in there. And I have just put one big clump of ground turkey in there. Now, from there, quick wash the hands so my vegan friends don't complain. Season the top of that, salt and pepper, OK? And then, look, get your lemon and just zest that lemon over that turkey. 
That's going to give it a little bit of freshness, a bit of lightness, okay? But underneath, have a look at these leaves, okay? So beautiful. Now I give that a toss and look, I'm getting that colour in there now. Beautiful, really beautiful. So don't worry about adding that olive oil and that butter. We need that little bit of fat in there and it stops the turkey from going dry. Good. Halfway, right. Okay, give that a really good toss. Now, keep that nice and flat, okay? The season beauty, that chilli's coming through. The turkey is nice and separate and it's taking on those leeks, those onions and those garlic. And then from there, I'm gonna put my pasta in, okay? Now, this is a thin tagliatelle. You can use fusilli, penne, pappardelle. But this is a beautiful, quick and easy, literally 90 second pasta. Bring it up immediately. I like to season the top and the bottom of the water. I'll explain why in a minute. Shake the pan, stop it from sticking to the bottom. And then we've got this nice salted rolling boil water. And then I like to season it on top as well, so that's really nicely seasoned. Gas, nice and high. Right, one pan, two pans working. Now we're going to get the breadcrumbs working. I start off with a touch of olive oil to stop that butter from burning. Then I put my butter in so it goes nice and frothy. And then as it starts frothing up, okay, I season that butter. Now add my breadcrumbs in there. And that's going to fry them to get nice and crispy. A little bit of sage. Roll up the leaves and just slice the sage. Nice and fine. In she goes. And you'll see that really nice, light, flavoured, sort of spicy, crispy breadcrumb on top of the pasta. The water's reboiling. Check the pasta again. I'm going to be using some of that pasta water. It's still a little bit al dente. Another 30 seconds. Now, look at the leeks. Look at the turkey. What I'm going to put in there now to bring this together is about a couple of tablespoons of cream. Gas still nice and hot. Up high, bring that up to the boil. And look, I don't want it too cloy, I don't want it too heavy, but just coat it with the cream. And now, look, my breadcrumbs. Pan down, pan down, please, just have a look at that. Look, they're frothing away and going really nice and spicy. A touch of chilli in there, some fresh parsley. Right at the very end, okay, in with those breadcrumbs. It also helps to cool down that butter and it gives a really nice creamy texture. Now, look at that. That's where I want to go. The cream has brought it together, okay? All I do now is get my pasta, bring your pan over to your pot, lift. Don't drain all that water off, okay? Grab your pasta. I'm adding a touch more water. That water's now packed with the starch rolling round. And this is where the magic happens. I've still got the heat in the pan. We'll go back on the heat. A touch more water. And look, beautiful. Now, so important that we do not put too much cream in there. When you look at this dish now, it doesn't look like there's hardly any cream in there. Time, please. Good. And now, we've got that nice creamy texture. The last 30 seconds of the cook takes place in the pan. So don't cook the pasta completely inside the water. Take it out earlier and have the confidence to finish it in that sauce. And look, from there, we come into finishing, into the center. It's nice and spicy with that chili. The turkey is caramelized, the leeks have melted, the garlic is sweet, and then literally on top, get your breadcrumbs. And they are so crispy. And you just literally drizzle that crunch on top. And there you go. That is a beautiful, delicious, incredible turkey pasta. Lean in 10, lean in 15. <laughs> To all of you, thank you for watching Ramsey in 10. If I went too quick, I apologise, but slow it down. Now, don't forget to pick up Ramsey in 10 cookbook inspired by this series. And...
trust me, you're gonna come out a much better chef. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel for more. Good luck.